home. You a Deku. Is his arm healed? Yeah, man, get out of his face. Why is? Oh, okay. They just want to get some information on the boy All Might. He's a, yeah. <clears throat> hey, I'm pretty muscular too. Of course, Lita would give the best explanation for these freaking paparazzi or journalists. Yes, it is honestly a great opportunity, bro. Going to UA. Yep. Tell him, Eraser, bro. Tell the kids to get out of here. Don't you think you're too scruffy? Bruh. That's why he doesn't like probably the spotlight and stuff because all this. It's the UA barrier. Damn, so I wonder how the kids get in there without that going off. Without an ID or pass. Okay. Okay, I guess so. I mean, if you've been out there for... You can give some information. Also, this is probably his first, first year. Only probably because Deku is there. Even villains? Oh, we can get our first villain? Like a... Oh my gosh. The video and results. Oh, of course they were. They recorded it. Yes, take that in. Yeah, freaking kid. I know. What we got at Midoriya? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On a class representative. A job with serious responsibility of leading others. Not a job for just anyone who wants to do it. Ah, uh, yeah, someone who needs... Someone who... Needs democracy to try to choose a leader. Like, to choose them alone. Bro, what is my guy doing? Bro, this guy is always exhausted, my guy. All right, so we got the election on who's going to be the class rep, basically the leader. Oh, Midori got three. Midori? Oh, wait, honestly, I didn't think he won. I don't know. I, I think I read the subtitle wrong. Bro, the pressure is on his back. All right, Maduro, you got a lot of weight on your shoulders, man. Let's go. Let's boss up. It's going to be cool, though. Giving, like, a boss position to someone who's kind of nervous and scared. It'd be cool to see. That's what I'm saying. Chris, judgment, and critical moments. He does really think good in critical moments. Good stuff, Lita. See, Lita's smart. I love Lita. He's cool. Uraraka. Just thinks without... Wait, just talks about thinking. Is he really rich? I mean, he looks like he'd be a rich boy. Rich boy! My family has been heroes for generations. I'm the second son. Oh, they, they are like the cool similar suits. The turbo hero. Who has 65 sidekicks? Lita does honor the rules. He wants to be like his brother. Be like, yeah, of course. He wants to be like his brother. It's all good, Lita. You're, you're honestly on a good path. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's that guy. But you guys have powers. Everyone can gang up on this guy. I know they're students. We'll see what Eraserhead and All Might have to do about this. Oh, 
I wonder if that one dude allowed them to get in and he's just wondering while everyone's distracted on the press. Go, go, Lita, go, Lita, go, save me. I mean, not Midoriya. <laughs> I read the subtitle. Uh, Uraraka. Uraraka -ku. You got, man, getting through a crowd is. I don't think I never think I've been in a crowd that big before. Oh my gosh, <laughs> bro! <laughs> imagine looking up and there's a random kid just twirling. Oh, just the media, man. That's like a foreshadow. That's just not. It's not it. <laughs> Look at this guy. First, like, can I say something? Just say thank you. I am honored to be your class rep. Oh my gosh, dude. What's up with this guy? I think it's because he's always up at night and he has to be up in the morning teaching. That's why. Oh, these are just some big heroes right here. Best. The symbol of peace. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I hate seeing All Might like this, even though I barely know him. Man, especially Bakugo, like... <sighs> but he's gonna put the pieces together sooner or later, man. It's gonna cause a lot of controversy. I wonder what's so bad about it, though. Bruh, imagine just going boom, 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 boom. Oh, so we're going to get another instructor. We got Eraserhead. Oh, my. And we have another one. So we're going to start res rescue training. Combat training, rescue training. Um, so Deku's wearing his PE clothes, probably because he's got ripped during the combat training, yeah. Bakugo only has one grenade thingy on. Call me Tsu. Your crook is like, oh my, oh my god. Just say, man, I'm just one of a kind. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he doesn't get hit when he uses this. Yeah. Come on. Dang. <laughs> I love this. Bro, is it good? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Space Hero 13. What does that look like? Big Hero 6. Space Hero 13. 
Right, that sounds the same. And they look kind of similar, I guess. Oh, I thought they were going to run inside. So this is another one of maybe UA's training facilities. USJ. Shipwreck. Landslide. Fire. Windstorm. The training ground that I made with different types of accidents. and that. That's dope. That's pretty cool. Called the Unforeseen Simulation Joint. USJ. <laughs> black hole it's like anything that turns into dust that's OP but look at what Udaka she's like yeah 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 You can easily keep with one wrong step. With Oswald's physical fitness test, you found out about found out the possibility of your own hidden powers. With All Might's person to person combat training, I think you experience the danger of using those powers against others. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought this was all part of the plan. Bro, there's a villain that came out of nowhere, bro. Eraser head. Why to see my boy in action? This guy's summoning. Oh, a bunch of villains. This is the guy that thought of the havoc at UA. Alright, guys, so this is right after the episode. What the heck? Right after the episode. And, dude, a pretty good episode. Not gonna lie, it was filled with a lot of stuff. We got information, we got motivation, we got controversy. A lot of stuff, a lot of um controversy between All Might and his own quirk and him dealing with, you know, yo, I'm I'm getting weaker. My my ability to keep my quirk up and running is running shorter ever since he gave his quirk or some of his quirk to Deku. And especially when he had a battle back then and someone, I guess, punched him and left something in his stomach affected him. And he just, he's, he's weakening. And honestly, it's kind of like I've only watched a little bit of this show. Like, I just, I just wish All Might wasn't full. Like, he was always full. But I guess, like, this is basically the story of the power of All Might getting passed on to young Deku. But Deku is obviously not there yet at all. So, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. He's going to step up to the plate heavily. But the episode started off with them in school. We got to see a lot of press. You know, press is a really, really, really big thing for All Might. And, I mean, bruh. Erase your head, doesn't like the press. Obviously, why? Maybe he works at night and just doesn't want to deal with him. Press trying to get in, and there's a mysterious dude standing outside. And I'm pretty sure he's the one who breached the inside and allowed the press to get inside. And that's what caused, caused the lockdown and what caused Lita to rise up, control the students, and eventually change Deku's mind into saying, yo, once, once everything was set and, set and done, they got the press out, and teachers were looking at the damage and, and confirmed that, yo, was this was not just the act of regular humans. This was someone evil or a declaration of war. But while that was happening, Deku went back to class. All the students went back to class and he stood up in front of the stage and he said, well, I think Lita should be the class rep. And honestly, that was pretty dope. And it was pretty honorable to see that happen as Lita. He really is a, a smart, very, very, uh, uh, he has a lot of leadership and he's a very motivated person. He makes a lot of good judgment and he analyzes a lot of stuff. And he's a very upright, smart person. So I feel like he was the, probably the best person for the job. So it was cool to see. And after that, we got, I mean, Eraser had said, we are going to do more training and this is going to be rescue training. Okay. So this episode was, was the second half was about the rescue training as all the kids took a field trip to USJ. Forgot what it stood for, I'm not going to lie. But I know it was USJ with a, su a superhero name, I think 13, Big Hero 13, Big Time 13, something like that. And, I mean, he or she built 
USJ, which had a bunch of simulations of different problems to rescue people. There was a shipwreck, landslide, fire, windstorm, etc. There's a lot of them. Just for like to train students to, to teach them how to how to uh, teach them how to work in those different types of situations and simulations when they become actual heroes and have to face a real life occurrence like that so that was pretty cool to see but right before they're about to get started it seemed like the villain who helped the press infiltrate ua and just ask a bunch of questions appeared out of nowhere in a black hole i could have sworn that was 13's quirk because i seemed like a black hole but i guess it wasn't and eraser head was ready to get in a battle when eraser head gets serious you know it's serious because he really just don't care he cares but like mm, i mean it seemed it's just he's like, oh like he just chill got the goggles on and told the students to sit back and bro next episode we're gonna get that fight we're gonna see eraser head live in action against this this mysterious villain who has freaking stuff over his face it was like like hands and even hands around his neck and he was summoning a bunch of other villains but i'm pretty sure he's the main and the strongest one so bro if you guys did enjoy this reaction be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe 90 percent bro 90 percent of the people who watch these our reactions on weebs rs aren't subscribed so if you guys haven't already please subscribe and turn on that bowl that bowl yeah turn on the bowl Click that bell notification so you guys can get notified every time we upload if you guys want to see our reactions. And without further ado, man, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys made it to this point of the reaction, you are the OGs. Without further ado, I'm just going to skid it on data out of here. Muñeño.